big controversy, big story in the garage area. Uh, they're getting rid of the sticks uh, at some some series. They're get, getting rid of the sticks. So, so it all happened, flow night at Fairbury. Uh, you know, we watched Shepard getting ready to blow by uh, Pierce, and Pierce changed lanes. We know Bob Pierce is the best at sticks. It was that night. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, instead of being side by side, Bobby does a hell of a job with Bobby gets up there. He grabs the lane and people are like, damn it. So what's your opinion on getting rid of signal sticks? I think it's totally fine. Um, I've seen a lot of good races ruined by signal sticks and it's helped me in some cases and it's hurt me in some cases. You know, I, I've been the guy in second coming in, in a different lane <clears throat> and then, you know, the, the leader moved up in my lane and, I've also done it, you know, just vice versa. But <clears throat> we did, we got to find a way to uh, police a- everything as far as Apple Watches or lights in a car. There, there's a lot of stuff that, that can go on that, you know, drivers can get signals. Two-way radios, or not two-way radios, or two single-way radios where you can, you know, you got a receiver in one ear and somebody talking to you in the other ear in the stands. Mm. So there's always some things going on, but if – if we can find a, a way to police all that, make it a level playing field, that's great. I mean, I always thought it looked dumb on our sport, everybody around the track trying to land, land airplanes anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> you know. I never thought about that way. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Exactly. So, so uh, by them getting rid of the sticks, the Apple Watches, the things like that. Uh, now, we, we, listen, you and I are not idiots. I, I built, you know, listen, I built my own race cars. And you have too. So nobody going to tell us anything. They might give us an ideal, but so they get rid of the sticks, but now over here in this ear, they're going to tell you how to change lanes. You know, they're going to, Hey, move high, you know, cause they can't see my little gloves here. You know, they're, they're allowing gloves, yeah. you know, but you can only do like that. You know, my, my buddy, Bob Pierce, I love him to death. His sticks, I think we're getting to be six feet tall, but <laughs> I love Bob and I'm going to have him on here. But so the Apple watches, it wasn't so much about traction control, which they tech the cars. They're, they're talking to the drivers, telling them when to change lanes. Oh yeah. I mean, you can, you can get a text message on your watch and look at it. Or if it, if it vibrates or something, you know, you need to change. And there, there's all kinds of different things. Back in 2012, I used to have my phone in the car with me and I could text under caution. You know, that's back before anybody. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we've all done it, so, but um, th- there's got to be a way to tech it all. And uh, it'll definitely uh, make some finishes better than what they have been. My uh, my wife, Kim, is, is is Catholic and I'm a Lutheran. So we went to pre-Cana class, you know, make sure we're compatible. And Father John said, young man, what are you going to do for a living? And I said, I'm going to be a race car driver. And he says, be careful. Competition will kill you. So the <laughs> things that people come up with, it's like, wow. <laughs> no doubt. Competition, right?